£250. Easter crown for £15. Very tempting to go wild in here. Kilogram of eggs for £108. <laughs> Well, this isn't the spring video I was hoping to bring you, but yes, I am outside the iconic Harrods. Where is it? It's hiding in the background. It's absolutely, well, it's raining, so we're going to head on in in a second. But I'm going to be showing you everything that is spring related, including some bougie Easter eggs. Oh, she's doing another Harrods vlog. I know, I know, but I come to some of the main stores in London. You would have seen my last video. I think it was my last video. I went to Fort and Mason and they had a 250 pound white chocolate chicken hen thing. So we're going to see what Harrods have got. Their Instagram the other day had loads of cool, exciting sugary treats. So yeah, I'm going to have a look around that. If you want a full comprehensive, fully comprehensive, I should say, tour of this store. I will link a few other videos because I've done quite a few uh, Harrods vlogs now. But today is all about spring, so let's see what they have literally in store for us. Past all of the fancy handbag brands, I will be back and I'll do a fashion specific video. Um, I may have uploaded my Selfridges one by now, but yes, every so often I do a fashion vlog, a food vlog. Oh, yes, I'm all for bigger bags. I always have too much stuff with me. And as a disclaimer, they don't mind you filming in here as long as you don't have an external sticking out microphone. Oh, quick whiz through Dior, yeah? Maybe, maybe. But seeing as Easter is just around the corner, yes, we're gonna head on into the chocolate haul. Now, this is something of dreams. If you're wondering, I'm currently doing Lent, so I haven't had any chocolate, sweets, crisps, or alcohol for a while. I know, how boring am I? So I'm gonna have a look and see what is new. Like I said, I have filmed here quite a few times, but this is the very, very grand chocolate haul. It's absolutely stunning. You have to come in here, preferably not on a Saturday afternoon, but even now, look at this, a chocolate peacock inspired by architectural decor. Oh my goodness. They make, I think, a significant amount of it in-house. And then you have the main counters, which I will show you very shortly. I'll probably suggestion, guys, pause this video, go and get yourself a snack, make sure you are subscribed. Cheesy, I know. But look at this little Easter display. Excellent, love that. I will try and show you some of the prices, but it's not all um, Harrods branded. So you can see this Belgian bunny figurine is 20 pounds, and then you have Fahi, I think that's how I pronounce it, for £20 some praline eggs. So they tend to kind of mix merchandise things, which I think is pretty nice. And just panning over, I always show you this corner. I just love packaging, guys. Oh, look at these little carrots. I've never seen this type of thing before. That's really cute with a few kind of like mini eggs or whatever they are inside. Not sure, I'm not gonna show you all the prices, but that is £9. What else have we got? Some car uh, carrot jellies we saw ones like that in Fortnum's and then some gummies so definitely gummies are coming about um, over the last couple of years I've noticed that but that bunny is so cute and then in this corner looks like it's all own labels so all Harrods branded she says Easter and this is what I wanted to see some of the bougie ones oh my goodness yeah I saw this on the site and um, on their Instagram look at this the Harrods chocolate hair chocolatey oh my gosh I can't talk golden peacock egg and it says it's with bread and butter filling. What? And assorted bonbons for £250. Wow, that is Veruca Salt's idea of an egg, isn't it? And look at these ones, they're beautiful and so shiny. Oh, it's these, so you've got 35 peacock mini eggs and there's lots of different flavors there. Oh, they're very heavy. And it looks like the tray that it's in is like a chocolate molded. And then we have the Rye, re peacock Easter egg, and there's a couple of different shades. These are 50 pounds. So you've got a milk chocolate one there, beautiful purple ombre through to blue. And as I pan over, you have a dark chocolate one. Oh my gosh. And the packaging for those, oh, look, has a little door. Oh no, you can't open the door. Okay. But the display, that casing is cool. I think this display is really cool as well. It's nice to see proper Easter call outs. I mean, these are definitely a treat, aren't they? As much as I do love getting mine from, I don't know, Asda and Tesco, you do have some that come in these cute little card boxes. So here we go. So for 20 pounds, you can get a white chocolate one, and then you have a milk chocolate one. We'll keep an eye out and see if there's any dark ones. I do like dark chocolate. Um, yeah, and I love anything bunnies. Oh, we saw one of these in Fortnum's, didn't we? I need to find like a picture of these Columba cake. 
I really don't know about this, so I'll try and remember to throw up a photo, but look at that packaging. Yes, please add all to basket. What have we got here? We've got some nice flavored ones, so strawberries and cream. Oh, I know quite a few people would like those. For 30 pounds, blonde biscuit, uh, cocoa dusted. Oh, I love the color coding salted caramel and then a vegan oat milk one yes i did see online there's quite a lot of vegan options um, i'll keep an eye out they don't always call it out too well so i'll um yeah try and show you if i can see it i really love these long trays these are becoming a thing aren't they like a really beautiful gift for 15 pounds mixed belgian chocolates and of course Archie the bear, so the Harrods bear. He hasn't got a little outfit on, I guess probably from costs. And he comes with a little egg and that's 20 pounds. That's cute. I wonder if they sell those at the airports. So that would be a good grab and go item, wouldn't it? Would you look at these bunnies. These are 110 pounds each. There's a white chocolate and raspberry and then um, yeah, an extra large milk chocolate. They are cute. But if you don't want to spend 110 pounds, you can for 17 pound 90. Well, that's a weird price. Um, look at him and he's got little like, what's those little almond crunchy bits in them. That's quite a fun thing to see. And then you have got a dark chocolate one, but this has taken my eye guys. Look at this sparkle. And they have quite a few of them with different color bows on, but I really like that where it's got the almond within the chocolate. Peter Rabbit continues. Just gonna push this little sugared, um, I don't know, mini chocolate egg, whatever that is. I love this. Look, it's like a little book. So Charbonnel Air Walker, excuse the pronunciation. And it looks like, oh, oh, camera struggling, but there are two little chocolates that have got a bit of a picture of Peter Rabbit on. That's adorable for 14 pounds. And then you have got a gorgeous box that I love anything with a ribbon on. And if you're wondering, it is about 10 past 10. So yeah, you gotta come in early if you don't wanna get completely stampeded by the crowds in Harrods. Um, and then we've got all the kind of pre-box chocolate truffles, etc. These are always here. Treat yourself indeed, but some of the counter stuff isn't too expensive, the Harrods branded stuff. Love that packaging. I love all the blue. Um, I haven't really seen that on many things. So we have got here a bit of a time slot. I've never noticed this, maybe this is new, of what they're gonna be doing. So yeah, we're a couple of hours out, so we probably are gonna miss that. But yeah, they do lots of like live displays of things. No, you can't be given testers, but I like how they've carried on the visual merchandising, the VM into the back of the chocolate area but the chocolate tap is always running so let's have a quick scoot around some of the counters and just see if there's anything new for easter um, we still have some bits that are love related it's actually mother's day weekend as i film this um, and obviously valentine's wasn't that long ago oh my gosh i can't believe how cute these are i like the design of these um rabbits they're really cute aren't they very cartoony and you can grab lots of little eggs this is quite an expensive brand i will confess so 13.90 <laughs> oh these are cute so they've got loads of different flavors yeah these guys have gone all out um a frishy choggy bunny so yeah you've got loads of nuts inside and then you've got smarties although they're probably not allowed to call them that and then yeah some cornflake looking ones and as i pan down those ones with the sparkles that we saw they have loads of different ones so white chocolate milk chocolate uh, assuming yes that is raspberry and then you've got dark chocolate on the end 70 percent i always love the chocolate slabs but i nearly missed here look at this you can get the whole family. So five pieces there. These are £24.50. I'm telling you all the prices now, aren't I? I think I'm gonna assume, do you get the other half of the egg? It says it's got 32 pralines in this for £67 or 19 for 69. There's a few different combos there, but look at this. So those slabs that we just saw, they've made them into an egg for £55. Wow. So don't, I'm gonna be honest with you, don't get put off by this, this first section here because this is the most expensive, I think. Wow, they have got so much Easter stuff in here. I'll try and show you some other bits of the food hall as we go round, but there's so much chocolate to choose from. So that big box there is uh, 53 pounds. We've got some chocolate bunnies here. Oh, yum indeed. Wow, I thought the ones in Fortnum's were a lot, but you get a kilogram of eggs for 108 pounds. I will be buying mine from Tesco. I said that last time, but these are really something special, aren't they? And then we have Venchi. Venchi always have like the most beautiful packaging. And um, what have we got here? A large Easter egg sleeve. So yeah, look at that. It's very, I'm gonna put my foot in it, Italian. Oh gosh, people are gonna get mad at me. Again, another Columba cake. I really wanna see what this looks like. 
That is so cool. And that's £43. And then you do have the smaller chocolates as well for £13 where you've got, yeah, it mixed into the wall of the egg. So that's a hazelnut one. What is that? A nugget one and then another hazelnut one. And then we have a hen. That's the word I was looking for. So yeah, Fortnum's had a giant hen for £250, but you can get the dark chocolate one. It's quite a lot of dark chocolate in here, actually. And a little chick for £13. But would you look at this packaging? Could you imagine being gifted an egg like this? I wouldn't want to eat it, um, but they always have stunning. Oh, look, they do bespoke hampers. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at this. It's like in a bird's nest. That is so cool. Is all of the outside edible? But it is 200 pounds. Oh, this packaging is beautiful for spring, isn't it? Okay, we do have some more. We will get to the fresh food in a minute, don't you worry. Box filled chocolate eggs there for 37 pounds. I really like this peachy color. I've not really seen that on anything, actually. This brand is called Patchy. Um, what else have we got? Yeah, oh, a chocolate rabbit. Oh, interesting, 17 pounds. So yeah, this uh, obviously you're paying a premium, but I really like these where you've got nuts and different elements added into the chocolate. Blimey, I really don't remember this last year. Maybe I didn't film it, but for 45 pound, William Curley. Um, wow, these look really premium. Look at that packaging. Oh my gosh, that is heavy. Oh guys, I'm getting really hungry now and I've only just had breakfast. What is this? Easter egg in a cabinet for a hundred pounds. Can you see that with the plastic? Oh my gosh. These are cute. I quite like that the wrapping is quite like rough and not too perfect. And then they have got all the standard um, chocolates that you can buy in the little boxes. Oh, I just got a waft of chocolate and macarons as well. Look at that heart piece. That's so cool. And I guess this is one of their pinnacle things, 149 pounds, and then you get two drawers of chocolates. Oh, it's strugg struggling a bit. Look at that box, that's crazy. They always have boxes that you can fill, and as you saw, hampers. I think every brand has got it now. Uh, you get a little small tray of eggs there for 16.90. Oh, these are beautiful. So these are eggs on water lily for 39 pounds, and then they've got a few different chocolate types. If you want to buy something a little bit smaller for £12.90. I mean, it's a lovely gift, but it is quite small, isn't it? Oh, I like that one. That one looks quite nice. Chocolate for days and days. But if chocolate's not your thing, they've got these little marzipan things. Oh gosh, that reminds me yeah, of Harvest. Look at those little fr vegetables. This chocolate counter is so cool. And I nearly missed. Uh, have we got any Easter specific ones? These chocolates are all £2.50 each. And you can get a little one for five pounds and there's a few different fillings, salted caramel, um, hazelnut, and a peanut crunch. Or oh, I'm sure lots of people in the comments would like those. Yeah, look at that. And some more slabs just for, just cause you can. I definitely did come in at the right time. And I've just noticed a little, speaking of slabs, look at this one, bread and butter. Is this a thing now? Bunny slab for 35 pounds. What have we got here? So yeah, they've got some nice love things branded for, well, I'm um, highlighted for, Mother's Day, but that's quite a cute little thing. Three different types of chocolates for 25 pounds. But yes, they have a lot of pre-packaged chocolates ready to roll. Very tempting to go wild in here, but yeah, you kind of got to say to yourself, you're going to spend X amount. Otherwise, honestly, you could spend thousands. And because it's fresh food, um, they sometimes have stuff in reduced to clear. So keep your eyes peeled, obviously with a sell by date, but yeah, an offer, we like a deal. Probably my favorite because it, I think it's personally the most reasonable, uh, the Harrods chocolate counter. Literally select what you want counter. I don't think it's too bad. Um, yeah, I mean, for about 15 quid, you can probably get about, I don't know, 10-ish chocolates. You can almost hear some of you guys rolling your eyes. But for fresh chocolates, I don't think that's too horrific. Um, what have we got? I like all these cards that all these stores are doing. So you've got little chocolate Florentines, you've got white chocolate ones very nice crispy wafer praline there hiding in the background um what else do we have dark chocolate and caramel rocha pralines and then these easter little chocolate bunnies which they had oh yeah i bought these last year didn't i these are one pound fifty each and then also some chocolate eggs there as well with different fillings also you can just ask they are not snooty or anything in here i promise you i know it's harrods but don't be scared um and you can get things in these little boxes i think it might be like minimum nine or ten chocolates or get yourself a little chocolate lollipop there. Let's see what Godiva have got. Um, yeah, obviously a very, very popular brand. Pop eggs for 55 pounds for 50 pieces. 
Goodness me, I really don't spend much money on chocolate. I think generally Cadbury, Galaxy, etc. in the UK is quite a reasonable price. Um, so yeah, us UK people, myself, I guess I'm speaking for myself, I don't tend to spend too much on chocolates, but I love these selections that they have. And like the Harrods counter, there are a lot of kind of foiled eggs that you can pick from. So milk chocolate, praline, dark chocolate, vanilla, and raspberry. Raspberry seems to be a popular one. Oh, there's a few in the background. Uh, another praline one in there. Can I read that? What's the other one? And a crunchy mousse. <laughs> Not specific to Easter, but look at this display. These look so lovely. Oh, we'll look at the Harrod stuff as well in a minute. Oh, we nearly missed it. So, oh, these were the eggs I was trying to show you in a previous video, but uh, the store didn't show them very well. But look at this with the print on. These are absolutely beautiful. And the little one is 30 pounds. And the big one is, oh, 50 pounds. That is a lot. And that, my dears, is the chocolate haul at Harrods. But it's not all done. We're going to head into the fresh market hall. I'm just going to quickly see if there's anything new for spring. And then we're going to go through to the fresh bakery area. I've shown this place so many times. So, yeah, check out some of the videos. Um, and I'm here, the calm before the storm. I'm going to look out and see if they've got any of those card call outs. I am so hungry now. Let's just have a scoop here. What is the roast dinner at the moment? So rotisserie lunchbox for £10 and mac and cheese for £12. This is really good to get and I think it's quite good value. So you can get full chicken and then all the bits and bobs to go with it. I'm sure lots of Americans are saying this is really good value. But remember, um, us in the UK, our supermarket food is a lot cheaper, but then our eating out is a lot more money and then you've got all your fresh bits. But we do have this kind of in between grab and go. So yeah, if you don't want to cook, you don't want to eat out, you can get a lot of like deli stuff. This is really, really popular. And I always say as I walk around, hopefully this isn't too blurry on the frame rate, sausage rolls, they are still five pounds. We have got the pulled pork and jam one. We've got a traditional Cumberland and in the back there is a red onion sausage roll. And I think they're quite reasonable definitely one to share because they are quite big and they always have fantastic salads they are obviously quite expensive um, but the fresh food here is just absolutely ridiculous look at that honey glazed salmon what have we got next to it seared sesame crust tuna oh my days and uh, that looks a bit like yeah bavette steak with chimichurri oh that's giving Epcot food and wine vibes to me and you can even get a little tuna salad in a pot there for eight quid. Now, I'm not actually going to be getting anything because it is an Easter weekend yet and I usually come here and get loads of bits. Oh, look at that beef wellington for my family. So I feel like I've timed this video a bit wrong, but let's have a look around. And you have a pasta bar, which always oh, looks ridiculously nice. Oh, look at that fresh salmon and mascarpone tortellini, 13.50 per portion. So yeah, it's kind of like you're eating out um, price wise almost. And then we have the lunch to go. Oh, I need to figure out. I'm gonna have to buy something, aren't I? Maybe I'll try and eat in. What have we got on at the moment? Well, there's always ridiculous sandwiches, guys. Truffle club brioche roll for 12 pounds. Look at these prawn cocktail and lobster rolls. Silver lining of coming earlier. Everything looks so pretty. Truffled egg brioche for eight pounds. That lobster roll is 18 pounds, which I don't know. I feel like it's a little bit over my limit when it comes to buying a roll and then lots of salads, but yes. Come in, lunch to go. It's like a very nice step up from prep. Oh, I feel like this is new. Chase San, I'm guessing that is a restaurant or something. They often have kind of, um, yeah, restaurant chains or whatever in here. So a bento box there for 19 pounds. Uh, a tuna bento box again for 18 pounds. <laughs> Guys, I'm talking a lot, but I'm trying to fit everything in before the crowds come. Cause if you've been here on a Saturday afternoon, you know, it just, it just is intense, but the fruit section is beautiful. And it's good to see they still have these um, wraps. What are they called? They're like little, yeah, salad rolls and you can pick and choose what you want. I actually buy sometimes the, um, like the kind of things to wrap them in every so often from Waitrose. They're really nice. If you're trying to cut down on your bread, and then we have all the different sandwiches and wraps, salted beef and brie, oh, yum indeed. Um, and then some fancy rolls. What's the most expensive one? Everyone always wants to see that. Um, there we go, Imberico ham. I think they usually have this one for 12 pounds. So it is a bit of a treat, um, but I know Americans watching this will probably think it's quite good value. Oh, sandwich of the month. Oh, it looks a bit scary. We've got a dressed crab sub for 14 pounds. But yes, there are a few tourists in here, which is nice to see. Oh, I feel like London is back to normal now, dare I say. Right, let's head on into the rotisserie and bake hall. 
We should probably have some more Easter things in here. It smells amazing. Oh my gosh, it's 20 to 11 already. I've been browsing around. Let's see if they have anything. Oh, the light's broken. I think they might be. Um, anything specific for Easter. So the donuts. Oh my gosh. Guys, I've had the almond croissant from here and the hazelnut croissant for four pounds and it was uh, amazing. So we would 100% 100 recommend. And I can see a little Easter call out here. We've got a hot cross bun for two pounds. Guys, it's bloody massive. Like it's absolutely gigantic and it looks nice and shiny and sticky. Then at the top here, oh, camera struggling, four pound 50. Um, yeah, I think the lights are just broken on this fixture. I'm trying to get it in focus. A chocolate cube for 450, which is a brioche filled chocolate ganache topped with hazelnut and milk chocolate ganache. Goodness grief. And I've just remembered last year, um, oh, it doesn't say Happy Easter, not yet. Usually they change the lettering or it says um, Merry Christmas, which is quite cute. The Harrods sourdough bread, I think is still, all the price is hiding. I was gonna notice if I, uh, I could see any price differences, but no, it all seems like the same price that it was a year ago, actually. If you want some general bread, the olive and rosemary sourdough is really good for six quid. But this is, oh no, this isn't it. Oh, maybe they changed it. Easter crown for 15 pounds brioche with almond cream, hazelnut paste, milk, chocolate, white chocolate, chocolate chips topped with chocolate drizzle and roasted hazelnuts. That is quite the description. But the one that I was interested in, oh, is the hot cross bun sourdough. I feel like it was a loaf last year, but that is six pounds. And if it's anything like it was last year, this is bloody brilliant. You can get a pack of four hot cross buns for six pounds. Guys, these are really big. Look how sticky and goodness they are. Apricots, raisins, currants, mixed peel and cinnamon. And we have this self-service corner as well. Oh, we got some lights on over here. Oh, look at that. Blue cheese fig and walnut for catcher. That looks a little bit special. And if you don't want to queue around the corner, they have the standard sausage roll here. Oh, 628 calories. Oh, stop. We don't care about that. Uh, but yes, in the UK, they do have to put calories, I think. Although I have noticed a lot of places don't bother anymore, which I appreciate. And they have carried on the VM into the bakery as well, which is really nice to see. And the coffee counter is a very popular place. Harrods answers to Starbucks. All right, we have the tea section. I wonder if they've got any Easter teas. They did at Fortnum, didn't they? This packaging looks new. Silken tea bags, they're really nice. I like that. I really like Harrods always do a color theme depending on the flavor. I know a lot of places do that, but the execution of the packaging, Harrods always thinks really good and they're 12 quid. And then they've got a little display at the top. Oh, wellness herbal. I like that. They have definitely moved with the times. And I always say, be careful. These are loose leaf teas. These are not tea bags. So make sure you get the right type if you're going to get any when you're in London. This is a good place to definitely chill and you can get quite a lot of the cakes and um, yeah, pastries that we've seen so far. Store tea selection, 20 tagged envelope tea bags and those are six pounds. Uh, yeah, that's quite nice actually. Knightsbridge, First Blend, Georgian and Empire. Oh, can we just appreciate this room? This is the original, well, it's obviously been restored, I think, the original tiling to the fresh section that we were just in. I love all the light fixtures. It's such a vibe in here. It's a lot more kind of cozy and warm in here. You can come in here on a hot summer's day with the air conditioning, come in here on a rainy day. Oh, look at the flowers. Honestly, I always love VM. VM is visual merchandising, by the way. I always get asked, but let's have a look at this counter. display that is absolutely gorgeous let me zoom in oh wow i feel like the vn this year is exceptional is that peter rabbit oh my god is that what is this is this a full-on cake oh my goodness look at this what does that say cg couture that is isn't it what i mean it's obviously fondant but goodness yes you take a ticket and uh see when your number pops up but yeah again i'm looking for the new call outs if you've seen this video, these videos before, I've shown these cakes many, many times. And uh, yeah, my family like it when I come home with some cakes. But yes, we've got some new Easter ones, rhubarb and strawberry tart. Oh my goodness, for nine pounds. Look at the design on it. It's like the outline of a rabbit with his little tail and ears. It's adorable. This one always freaks me out. Oh gosh, the spikes. Uh, passion fruit dome, mango passion fruit, pistachio raspberry. Honestly, this place is, gets crazy busy on a Saturday. I always say, come and have a look. 
But yes, you've got a uh, £6 for an eclair. And then you have got a chocolate and hazelnut nest there for £9. And then you've got a pistachio and cherry egg. Oh, that's interesting with hazelnut and fruity. I don't know what that is. That's cool. That looks amazing. Looks like moss. Are you hungry yet, guys? Because I am. And the brand Fiona Cairns. I think that's how you pronounce it. They always have beautifully iced products. So oh, look at these. These fairy... Oh lollipops for how much are these five pounds they are gorgeous aren't they um, oh and there's a little chick one as well in the background and they always have um yeah fancy cakes which are hand decorated so you can get a pack of two there they're 650 or a pack of six what are they nine nine pounds or on the little selection ones i quite like it when you get really little cakes these are 12 pounds cute i'm actually here to look at a pair of shoes and i was like hey we got to do a vlog, haven't we? I'm also filming in a slightly wider lens, so it might not be as smooth. I hope this is okay. I do try really hard, but this corner has kind of become, I guess, their proper seasonal space now. All about Easter, five minutes ago, I feel like it was Christmas. Guys, can you believe three years ago, lockdown started? I'm not gonna talk about it, but yeah, three years, what on earth? And we're already, yeah, basically at April by the time you've seen this, life is going too quick. That's why you've got to go out and enjoy things. Have I had my necklace tied into this microphone the whole time? Never mind. So they always have a display here of all the beautiful hampers. Um, oh, I feel like that plastic isn't very clear. Luxury hamper, 85 pounds. Yeah, all these fancy stores. So lots of tiered um, yeah, packages. Happy birthday gift box for 70 pounds. You can't quite see that, but trust me, it looks fabulous. And naturally, they've dual sighted quite a lot of the things from the chocolate room, but there's also an Easter bunny. Oh, I wonder if there's an Easter bear. How much is he? Oh my gosh, I can't reach. He is ooh, 25 pounds. Oh, he's cute. And he's got Harrods 2023 on his feet. Oh, I love whoever did the packaging. This looks so clean. I think it's the up lighters in this store, which makes such a difference to how it's displayed. Yeah, there's only a few, if I pan over, there's only a few ceiling lights, really, but it's all the kind of strip up lighters that give it such a beautiful ambience. Um, what, oh, what is this, guys? Hot cross bun curd for seven pounds. I've not really seen that anywhere, I don't think. Did they have it last year? I can't remember. And of course, you've got all your standard tins, which are always here. I think the packaging on this, I will quickly show you again, is stunning and they have lots of kind of facades um, paintings of the outside of the building, obviously on a slightly nicer day than we, we saw earlier. I maybe might go to the dining hall for lunch, it's not open yet, uh, lunch onwards in most of the food places. I feel like this has a packaging update, I don't know if these are new, but we've got a caramel sea salted biscuits, oh my gosh, yum for eight pounds. Quite similar packaging to the tea, spiced rhubarb and vanilla oat biscuits, uh, pistachio white chocolate, cardamom biscuits and date pecan brown sugar biscuits okay there is so much in here to show you manuka honey posh olive oils and what i mean is a 700 pound olive oil with gold flakes i've never noticed these cannolis for 650 oh yum we saw some at the duke of york the king's road um, market a lot of markets in london have got those oh look at these de 40 are oh, these are those little Aragostine, those tiny, I know they're like, kind of like croissants, but they're not, but they look amazing. I mean, that's quite a nice idea for 30 pound, a little trio gift set. Right, guys, I am going to love and leave you and end the vlog here. Stay tuned for part two next Friday, where I go for lunch at Harrods and a bit of shopping. Bye.